Well, hello, friends. Father Frank here, Priest for Life, bringing you my daily diary uh, for um, Wednesday, the 13th of October of 2021. So I was here at the office uh, during the day, got up uh, early and he was here at my desk doing various emails, approving various letters going out uh, to our mailing list. And uh, I always approve the texts of those after our uh, team has uh, put together the, uh, the ideas and done an initial draft. And then we had the usual morning meetings, administrative phone call, followed by a uh, full staff briefing at uh, 8.30. And uh, after that, I had uh, various individual meetings with staff on projects being done uh, for the day. And uh, then I had, uh, oh, I taped the Mass, or also in the morning, uh, celebrated the broadcast Mass. And uh, then, let's see, I had a meeting at uh, uh, 10 with our, uh, some of our executive staff and social media uh, personnel and technology people uh, in order to plan for rallies being held at the Supreme Court on the 1st of December, which is the day of the oral arguments in the big abortion case that the Supreme Court is hearing right now called the Dobbs case. Did more work at my desk. I had um, a meeting uh, about the upcoming elections uh, and plans that we are making for it, uh, and as well as a few other technical details at 11.30, followed by a quick lunch. Uh, and then um, today was one of the days that our fundraising team got together. We have various uh, staff in different parts of the country who are responsible for keeping our fundraising on schedule and uh, uh, they meet with our vice chairman uh, regularly for a full day meeting. That took place on this day, the 13th, and I called into that meeting uh, in the early afternoon did some uh, reading of some uh, court documents and other new uh, new pro-life books that have come out and so forth, and then had a, a conversation with our, our general counsel, our constitutional attorney, Robert Muse, uh, just catching up on, on various points of, uh, of, of importance. Did more work at my desk after that, uh, in which, which included sending letters of congratulations to some of the legislators in Texas and in Mississippi, whom we are going to honor on the day of the March for Life in Washington at the National Prayer Service, where we uh, conduct the service and give out a pro-life award. And these are the people, of course, responsible for these two pieces of legislation that have made such great progress for our movement, the Texas heartbeat law and the Mississippi law that the Supreme Court is reviewing, called the Gestational Age Act. After that, I had an interview with Newsmax. So I went into our studio and was part of a panel uh, discussing on Newsmax uh, some of the uh, uh, developments in our country with this uh, pro-abortion administration. Uh, after that, I uh, had some dinner and did some quiet work in the office in the evening. So that was the uh, 13th of October, Wednesday. Thank you for following my daily diary updates. We will talk to you soon.